Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to quickly revisit a concept that I had made a video about last year, and it's about the Bitcoin stock to flow model. If you don't already know what the stock to flow model is, I would highly recommend checking it out. This is why I'm revisiting this concept in this video. I definitely think that it's a model worth keeping in mind. But before I talk about it, I'm trying to hit 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you haven't already subscribed and would like to help support the channel, please consider helping out by hitting that subscribe button. Having said that though, let's get started. So just as I said last year, I made a video about the stock to flow model, which you can see here, I published it on April 11th, 2020. But if we go back to the site over here, which is the same site that I used in the previous video, we can see this graph here, which is pretty much the most important part. Now, what exactly is the Bitcoin stock to flow model? In a nutshell, it's a mathematical model that can help determine the price of a given asset based on its current supply and the yearly production amount. The model was first used in traditional assets like gold, but the creator of this concept known by the pseudonym Plan B decided to apply the same model to Bitcoin. The way the model works is you would take the current amount of the asset in circulation and divided by the assets yearly production. When deriving this number and plugging it into another formula, you can get the projected price. As I want to be respectful of your time, I'm not going to go over it as a lot of the technical stuff is addressed over here in this site, which you can check out for yourself. So if I just kind of scroll down over here, you can kind of get an idea of what it's all about. So if I scroll down some more, you can see their formulas and the model and so on and so forth. So that's kind of how this all works. Again, the most important part that I want to go over in this video is just this graph over here. Essentially, it's an interactive graph that can help give an idea of where the price of Bitcoin is heading. The X axis is time and the Y axis is price. This line in teal over here is the predicted price and the rainbow color line, which you can kind of see here, is the end of day price of Bitcoin. As you can see from this model, the price of Bitcoin has pretty much followed this stock to flow model quite closely. Sure, sometimes it's above the line and sometimes it's below the line, as you can see over here. But more or less, there's a strong correlation between the price of Bitcoin and the stock to flows predictive price model. In some sense, you could say that this here is the mean and it is reverting back to the mean. So this is where the predicted prices and it just kind of hovers around it, goes up and down and up and down, but more or less it stays and sticks to this sort of projected price. One thing that I find interesting is that according to this model, it's predicting that Bitcoin is going to be worth more than $100,000 by the end of the year. So if I go over here to December 28th, it says that the predicted value of Bitcoin will be $110,422.00. 71 cents and that's in USD. Now whether this actually happens or not, it'll be interesting to see what happens to the price of Bitcoin over the next couple of months before the new year. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video or found it educational and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you think that there's someone who got some value out of this video, please share it with them. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below as I do check and respond. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.